Hello! So tonight is going to be the first soap of December's shop update and I'm excited about this collection because I was thinking about winter time and being trapped inside from the cold and all of the activities that we have done as people for so long like playing chess, checkers, and playing cards. And so that's kind of the theme of this month of like winter board games, inside games. And when I was doing the research on this, it was just amazing to me of how old all of those games are, like much older than you even think. And some interesting things about it is that there's, there were three ancient cultures that started chess. And they're not really sure exactly who did it first because they were all recorded around the same time, and that is India, China, and Persia in the 7th century. And that the oldest chess manual was written in Arabic in the year 840. And the game as we know it now, with all of the same pieces that they use now, was kind of originated from the Indian version in Europe around the 15th century, like all of the pieces that we use now. And what I think is really cool about the chess game is that even though the purpose of the game is to capture the other team's king, and so the king is the most important piece of the game, but the queen is the most powerful, that she can move in ways that the king cannot. And so she kind of commands your armies around, and that's what makes that interesting. So, and then... What I learned about checkers is that checkers is even older than chess. It is thousands of years old. The oldest chess board that they found was in the ancient city of Ur, and it was dated to be 3000 BC. So that's just amazing. And I guess in ancient Egypt, they loved to play checkers. And um, I'll leave links below, as I always do for my Instagram, because... Throughout the month, I'm going to be putting all of these kind of interesting facts and art and things in there as well. And I thought that was really neat about that. And I have some like hieroglyphics of them actually playing checkers. So, and ancient Rome loved the game and it was said to be played in breaks during the Trojan War. And then as far as cards, the first playing cards originated in China around the 9th century and they actually sometimes use them like money that's where the whole concept of trading cards came from you actually traded goods for your cards so I always wondered where that term came from well, that's where it came from and what I think about is interesting with cards is that there are so many different games that you can play with playing cards just I will have to see if I can find an exact total of how many games you can play with it. But I found that fascinating. And I will also be posting about all the cool facts about the four queens of the cards. That the queen of diamonds, the queen of clubs, the queen of wands, and all of that. I'm sorry, wands, <laughs> queen of spades. They all correlate to the queens of the tarot. See, I was already ahead of myself. That, like for instance, the queen of cups connects to the queen of hearts because they're all interconnected. Then actually a lot of people who do read tarot only use playing cards. I have a couple of friends that that's what they use and my grandma always used playing cards rather than a tarot deck. They have the exact meanings of the same. It's all... There's the same suits, and they're just slightly different. So I'll be talking more about that later tonight. This intro's really long. So anyway, let's get to it and make the Queen of Hearts tonight.
Okay, so I'm back in the morning to cut the Queen of Hearts, and I've got the little crowns that are ready to pop out. And see, they look really nice. I'm not sure if I want to paint the little heart in the center or not. Maybe not. I'll see. You see how they come out of this plastic mold? Pretty easy. Okay, so I got all the little crowns out and trimmed and ready. Oh, how cute. They smell really good too. This this scent blend is pretty much exactly the same as my Sisterhood of the Rose soap. So if you'd bought that one in the past, this one smells pretty much exactly the same. It's a very nice smell. It's not what you would expect at all. Like just because it has patchouli in it, you actually don't get any notes of the patchouli. It just kind of blends around the florals and the orange. It's really hard to describe, but it, it's very feminine and nice and fresh at the same time, like flowers, like This is actually the darkest red I have ever gotten with the rhubarb root. It turned out so good. It is so, so red this time. And it did gel too, that's why it looks darker in the middle. Although over time, this yellow will fade more to like a, a white or beige. Let's do it this way. Very pretty. Okay, so the next part is going to be attaching the little crowns. And I have my soapy glue here, which is just like the ends of this, this actual body of soap mixed with very hot distilled water. And you just brush the back with a paintbrush. pretty hard but not too hard it's already starting to dent the crown <laughs> all right okay so the queen of heart soap and the checkers soaps and the chess candles and the cute gift set that has all of them in it as well as a restock of dear mr fantasy will be in the next shop update on the full moon on december 18th Shop links will be listed below, as well as my Instagram that shows pictures of things before they're going to come out, so you know what to expect. And please think about liking and subscribing. It helps me so much, and I make new designs every month, so there's always something new to watch, and I restock old favorites. Thank you so much for watching today, and have a good day. Thank you.